Hi guys, thank you for joining us at Bath the Kids. I'm a huge fan of the show and I'm so pleased that I've got the chance to talk to you both. Billy, can you tell me a bit about the show? Yes, so it's a prequel to Oliver Twist and it's about a boy called Jack Dawkins and how he becomes the Artful Dodger. Yes! Before you, I was just a boy who nixed up. No! Now, Dawkins! I'm a legend. I can imagine Dodge is a very fun character to play as well, but what attracted you to the part? Oh, everything, really. He's got a bit of everything, you know? He's a bit mysterious, <laughs> he's good with his hands, he's good at pickpocketing. But what I think the, the show does is that it shows the emotional side to the Apple Dodger, because you don't really see that in the others. It's all, you know, comedy and laughing. But yeah, you see the emotional side. He's got a very kind heart, and I, I love playing that the most as well. So what if you wasn't cast as Dodger? Is there any other character that you'd like to play or like the characteristics of? Good question. Um, oh, it's got to be Polly. It's got to be Polly. <laughs> you know why? That that fringe. I need to put that fringe in. Oh, yeah. Everyone oh, needs to have the fringe for at least a day, I feel. We like. need that fringe. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ellie, Dodger is one of your first acting roles. And how did you feel when you was cast as the part? Oh, I was, when I got sent the audition, I was like, oh, please, please, can I get this one? Please, can I get this one? Because these characters are iconic. My character's brand new from the minds of Reese and Lucy, and I love that as well. But when I got cast, I just felt so lucky to be in a production with characters that I, you know, I loved for so long and that are so iconic. So I was absolutely thrilled. So Polly is described as street smart and savvy and looks a great, great character to play. But can you tell me a bit more about her? So Polly's described as being Fagin's little soldier because Fagin knows if he says, Polly, do this, she'll go out and she'll do it and she'll do it with the least faffing around possible. She don't like faffing about. Um, mm. She's also really tough. We've seen a bit of her tough side in the first five episodes, but in the next five, you really see just how tough Polly can be. I hope you're not too sentimental about those tea for yours. <laughs> so you've got some really well-known actors in there, such as Christopher Edmondson, who plays Fagin. Has he or anyone else given you some really good tips? I'll be honest, what I found most helpful was watching someone like Chris just on set, just watching him, because he's been in the industry 40 years. He's got so much experience. Wow. Everything he does is informed by his experience. So it was brilliant just to watch people like him and David and all the guest cast. It was great. Did you get time to rehearse together before the first day on set? Yeah, we did. Um, uh, we, we rehearsed in London and Manchester. It was more of a, like getting to know each other, making mm -hmm. sure, um, improvising bits of the script and stuff. And uh, Chris popped in for a few days. Sam C. Wilson, who plays Bill Sykes, popped in. We met David for the first time. It was good oh, fun, wow. wasn't it? So did you get trained by anyone special to help you with your pickpocketing skills? Yeah, well, we did. We did have a, like, a, we did, like, a little bit of a workshop with... Uh, of Lucy Montgomery, you know, the writer, and what she used to do, she used to <laughs> put like a jacket on or something, and then she put napkins all in her pockets. And it was like the first day, so we were all getting to know each other, and we basically, yeah. we had to try and steal the napkins without her knowing. So one had to distract, and then we had to steal it. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Might, I, might, I, might, I might have been the best at that one, I think. <laughs> we are pickpockets. All right, we've got a thief. Thank you. So as you said, Lucy Montgomery and Reese Thomas are the writers of Dodger, and both appear in the show. But what was it like working alongside of them? Oh, they're brilliant. Reese is the most charismatic, enthusiastic person I think I've ever met. And he oh, wow. loves this show so much. And they were both so lovely all the time. They really encouraged improvising. And if we had any ideas, we were more than welcome to, to share them. And they yeah. are just brilliant to work with them. They were, they were so, so good. Just, you know, amazing working with people like that. I remember, yeah, if there was any idea, we said, oh, well, what about, can we do this? He goes, yeah, let's try it, let's try it and see how it goes. And then maybe it would get added in the script. So, yeah. so, so it was just, yeah, it was so great to work on it. It was amazing. Does it take long to put on the character makeup or do they just send you outside and roll around in the run for a bit? <laughs> that would have been easier, I think. Yeah. <laughs> started off at 45 minutes to get the wig, the tattoos and all the dirt, but we got it down to about 20 minutes by the end. But poor Billy had to dye his hair every day for the first two uh, months of the <laughs> Yeah, I did. They wanted my hair darker and they wanted me more dingy. So what they do is that they Reese went, can we dye, dye his hair like this? And they went, um, Billy? And I went... Oh, all right. So they had to dye it like uh, it was. I think it was dark, dark brown, and then they had to paint the eyebrows a bit more dark brown, or otherwise, you oh, know, yeah. you know or otherwise my eyebrows would look every colour. But yeah, it was so. It was just you, uh, they do it in the morning, 
and it, they did it so well it would take about 20 minutes uh, all of it together and then yeah at the end of the day which was the annoying bit I had to wash my hair every day and then wash my eyebrows and then do the teeth but sometimes <laughs> when I used to get back at, um, at the flat I used to go oh I'm just gonna go to sleep and just come back the next morning then I have to do it <laughs> So the Dodger is set in the 1830s and I absolutely love all the old fashioned costumes and props and I was wondering if it was fun experiencing a different era. Yeah. I thought so, because in, in real life, you know, we're not knocking about in the outfits that Dodger and Polly wear, in real, no one is now, so it's nice to experience that for a few months and even the teeth, you know, we might not love putting them on, but it really <laughs> is it's fun Ooh. for a few months, isn't it? It was. <laughs> I you, bet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what was the beginning? They Remember when they were planning all the costumes remember we saw on the sketches i remember seeing the sketches that was so the costumes. Good. it was so because we, we we were looking at these costumes like, oh my god you know that's gonna be my costume and they changed up so much so we put one first costume on and i had a big red jacket on oh yeah and we had to test loads they, of different they stuff, nah, nah, a bit too much like the greatest showman let's slim it down a bit so they slimmed <laughs> it down a bit and they made it black and yeah and they changed everyone's costume it was just yeah it was so good even even things like when guest stars had come in like the one i remember the most is um Colin McFarlane and Tim Downey who played Mr. Canker and uh, Henry Fox Tool, but coming in and having chops put on, like big <laughs> Victorian chops. And I'd never seen them before, so I used to thought, oh, I'm sure that's how they look, my chop shaved. No, it's all pretend, people getting beards and tashes put on, it's brilliant. So, uh, when other characters are filming and you're not in the scene, do you have time, like free time, or do you have time to catch up on schoolwork? <laughs> oh, don't talk about it, Gracie. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, no, it's not, you know, it's schoolwork. You've got to do it. You know, it's good, it's good to learn and that. But this lucky girl, she used to sit around, you know, she used to get have a nice nap now and then. Why well, I had to do <laughs> tutoring in a bus, maths, physics, all of it. And she used to have a nice nap. And I used to come back and she used to be like, Oh, I've had my nice nap. Let me go back on <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd finished school by the time we started filming. So, but luckily, a lot of this shoot happened in the summer holidays. So then Billy was allowed to join in nap time. Um, and we'd all have a lot of fun in between takes. But yeah, but while school's on, Billy, Abby, and Mila are all had to go off and sit in the bus. <laughs> so, guys, have you got any good acting tips for people like me who want to go into acting? Oh, that's, that's a good question. Oh, okay, good tips. Any good tips, Els? I'd say probably the biggest one is don't worry what you look like. Because I know a lot of people who want to get into acting, but they're worried about looking too cool mm. or whatever. You'll regret that because sometimes you've got to make yourself look a little bit silly and the yeah. outcome is marvellous. Best yeah. example, Billy dresses Brosey for an hour of television <laughs> in episode three of Dodger. So sometimes looking a little bit silly really pays off. Yeah, it's just, yeah it makes it yourself, more fun. Be yourself, just be very natural. You know, yeah, be chill. yourself. Don't don't try and you know be someone else or just be you. And, you know, if you want to do it, just you go and try really hard. It's like anything. Run! 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 Oh look, it's that police! So I'd love a chance to appear in a show like Dodger. So I'm going to get into character and give you four impressions. And all you have to do is tell me who I am. All right? Oh yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, we got, well, we got this. We got this. Right. So the first one, I'll see if I can rustle up grub and bandages for you. Oh, it's so, got to be. Hey, no, are we doing a competition? Are we doing, like, little buzzes? We do little buzzes? Yeah. All oh, right, I'm going to beat you now, Els. I'm beating oh, okay, you. Oh, okay, right, okay. So we've got a buzz in, okay. Okay, next one. Oh, Charlie, though, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Definitely, yeah. Right, I'm buzzing right. in. We'll have to call you something else. A <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> no, no, no. Fagin. Oh, Come on. I thought it was Get out of here, Els. Get out. Of here, Els. Get out. I thought it was the Brosey line. We can't call you Dodger. We have to call you something else. No. Yeah. That's Fags. Fagan. I don't think I'm not too sentimental about those teeth of yours. Oh, Polly. Yeah, well done. <laughs> that was a good impression. You sounded very much like me then. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Before you, I was just a boy. Oh, oh, Dodger. 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 The money knowing Dodge. Yeah. Dodger. Um, oh, I think it was, it was really good though. Really fast. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for talking to me. I've had a lovely time hearing about such an amazing show and I wish you both well. I've been Gracie Gosling, presenting for BAFTA Kids. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.